Charles Darwin started his career as a geologist. His training in geology and his ideas were the basis of the development of his theory of evolution. When I had a chance to go to England, Charles Darwin was on the top of my list to visit and to learn more about. Young Darwin, like so many children, loved to collect stones. In all my summers of exploring Indiana rocks and minerals and caves and creeks, I've never met a student who didn't like to collect rocks. Charles Darwin is one of the world's most famous scientists, but most people think of him as an old bearded naturalist. Although he is famous for explaining how life on Earth developed over time, as a young man he was fascinated by many other things, geology, beetles, medicine, religion, and rocks. Darwin's reputation as a scientist was built on his training as a geologist. This early passion stayed with him for the rest of his life. Geology was a new, cutting-edge science in the 19th century. Heated debate and controversy over science and religion captured the public's imagination. Darwin met key figures in these debates while studying medicine at Edinburgh, and later at Cambridge, Christ College, he started a study of religion. But it was evident early on that he was not going to be a clergy nor a doctor. However, as a student at Cambridge, he gained collecting and fieldwork experience in geology. The Sedgwick Museum is located in Cambridge and contains an amazing collection of geology and specimens from around the world. Much of Charles Darwin's material is on display. And at the time of Darwin, geology was in a great debate over how the Earth was formed. Darwin was lucky because he sat in on lectures by John Stephen Henslow and Adam Sedgwick. He greatly influenced Darwin and gave him practical experience in geology. His relationship with these two scientists helped mold Darwin into an expert geologist. While Darwin was at university, geologists were locked in a great debate over igneous rocks, granite, and basalt. The steady state geologist thought that any rock type could be formed at any time. Progressive geologist thought that granite had formed the skeleton of the earth in the distant past, but all basalt had been formed recently. Darwin's travel around the world provided evidence of the younger granites that made him doubt the ideas of the progressive geologists. He used Charles Lyell's book on principles of geology to better understand the earth. British scientist Charles Lyell is considered the father of geology. I was interested in Charles Lyell because much of the rock types that I study in Indiana and I take students to collect are named by the work Charles Lyell did in England and Wales. When Darwin was in his 20s, he had the opportunity to travel around the world in a ship called the HMS Beagle. The voyage took five years, and over this time, Darwin became an expert in geology, the study of the Earth. During the voyage, he collected rocks and specimens from around the world. In his collections and his specimens, he included very, very accurate notes. In fact, it was these notes and the precise locations that allowed him to continue his studies many years after the voyage ended. And these notes and specimens were used by many other scientists and are continued to be used today to further the understanding of our Earth. Upon the completion of his voyage, he married and moved to Downhouse to continue his studies. Downhouse is located about a 20-minute train ride from central London. It was here that he wrote his famous book on the origin of species. I had a chance to visit Downhouse. I had a chance to walk the paths, stop in the gardens, and visit the rooms of Charles Darwin. Although photographs are not allowed in Downhouse, I was allowed to have a photograph taken from the outside while I was inside the famous study where Darwin wrote on origin of species. 
Darwin is honored in so many ways, including his portrait on British currency. Charles Darwin is a science hero to me because of his love for science, his meticulous note-taking, his observations and field work, and because he has made it easier to understand the world we live in.